Welcome back to Outland on Aging Gamers. I'm Little Z, and I think I'm gonna keep this rolling a little bit. Wait a minute. Um, oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Level map. Oh, gotta go down. Okay, so I need to destroy those, but let's see what's over here first. Oh. Jungle Lowlands. to uppercut that bastard. Yeah, like that. Take it, buddy. These little spiky guys, they are totally reminiscent of the old school Metroid games. They even had like the same AI. Little dudes with spikes on their back that just walk around these like pillars. Um, you know, before I forget, I hate to run back and forth like this, but I want to grab that little secret that I saw back there. I don't know if I should be calling them secrets, but, you know. Oh, wait. Okay, so it's an ability that I don't have yet. Something I'm going to have to be able to, like, jump up and do a downward dash, something like that. Okay, lesson learned. Back to the lowlands. Okay. Oh, so they just straight up respawn. I right, have some help, buddy. Uh, I guess it's not that big of a deal. It gives me more coins and whatnot. Which is, can't be a bad thing. Still don't quite know what it does for me, but... But there it is. Uh, I'm not jumping all the way down there for that. Um, up. Oh, I'm not seeing anything up there. Out of my way, fool. Oh, no, nothing there. Ooh, is this going to be boss? Boss? Well, I don't know what made me think it was a boss, but it's kind of a cool little thing. Okay. Oh, fuck. You know, you think with how simple the combat is <laughs> that I wouldn't get hit so often. But who are you to judge me, you little shit? Okay, there we go. Now, when can I turn blue? That's what I want to know. I don't know if I can only do that when I flash back to being, well, whatever the hell I was, the hero from 30,000 years ago. Come on, bud, come down here. Yeah, let me know what you think about this game. I, uh,. When I created this channel, I really intended it to be... Uh, I really intended it to be um, smaller, uh, possibly indie games. I don't know. I, I own so many little tiny games. They're just uh, littering my library. I always intended to play them, but I figured it's kind of cool if maybe I can spread the word about things that are neat, neat little games like this one that, uh, I think this one came out on Xbox Live first, but um, I don't know that it ever gained any kind of traction or fan base or anything. The art style alone is what got me interested in it. And so far, it's not disappointing. It's rated well on Steam. I haven't seen any, like, official reviews for it, but the user scores are quite good for this game. I don't think it's the highest rated uh, Metroidvania that is out on Steam right now, but uh, I'm really enjoying it, frankly. And... I will get to those other Metroidvanias in due time.
also bonus points for anyone else that's old enough to know what I mean when I talk about Metroidvania for one and two to have actually played those original games that just really pioneered the entire concept of this uh, this type of gameplay, this exploration based ability based exploration, I don't know even how to describe it. I've been playing these games for 25 years or more. And yeah, before you uh, judge me, yes, I am only this good at video games. I am not pro, even though I am old. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, see, case in point right there. Not exactly uh, super skilled. I don't typically play a lot of platformers, so um, as you can probably see here. Ooh, health, 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 health. I need it, I need it. Well, that was a close one. Oh, shit. All right, over eager. <laughs> now, what did I say last video about, oh, oh. This looks like it's gonna extend my health. 1500, I will. Okay, so now we know what the coins do. Trying to uppercut that. Uh, I really have to commend this game on the use of these little glowing fireflies or whatever the hell they are that show you where to go. Because uh, it's a smart mechanic that means that you don't have to go to the map all the time. Like, oh, damn. Shit. Like back in the day in the Metroid games, you had to like constantly go to this little map, check that shit out. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose all my coins if I am not careful. Shit. Wow. That was uh, a terrible display. Um, for the sake of not repeating myself over and over again, uh, I'm gonna pause the video until I get back to the same spot that I was. Alright, here I am. I didn't spawn too far away, so that wasn't too terrible. Uh, it looks like you don't lose your coins. It's just kind of like an auto-save, that it saves your state before the last time you died. So that's nice. It's not like a super punishing game or anything like that, which is kind of cool. Especially since I'm just kind of playing this thing casually. I didn't really... Um, go in this wanting like a hardcore Dark Souls. Oh shit. Okay. Now I know that those guys are dickheads. Luckily life is fairly commonplace in this game. Makes up for my serious lack of platforming skills. Oh look at this. I mean, I really have to say, this is some good level design. Because in Metroidvania games like this, you often, oh shit, you often have to traverse back and forth between the same areas, and it can just become really competitive, or competitive, repetitive. Oh, wait, this thing's blue. I can stand on it? That's interesting. Yeah, come at me. Oh, <laughs> Um, so like having neat little mechanics where you're always sort of jumping around in interesting ways, uh, it really keeps it fresh even when you have to backtrack. And it's kind of cool that later, I, um, as I come back, I'm going to have like the blue and red abilities, which is going to make some areas easier which I think is really friggin' cool. And so the man who would save creation learned to draw on creation itself. Now he could harness the force of light manifest in all things. With it, he could tread paths that were closed to him before.
he became a swifter, surer hunter against creatures of the dark. But the road was still long, and the way hidden in shadow. Ooh, ominous. Alright. Okay, I can't, uh... I was wondering if maybe I could turn the ability off. Uh, not really a point in doing that since I don't have the uh, red ability yet, but... Um, so yeah, this is what I was just talking about, how it's pretty awesome how, like, before I had to jump through this shit and, like, platform all to hell. But now... It's nice and, oh, standing on it powers it? Interesting. Uh, but now, like, those areas that I was losing life on, not a problem anymore. Okay. I can't remember, were these guys red before? I don't think they were. Oh. Okay, so now all these things turned on. I had a feeling that these were going to be different when I came back to them. Come on, buddy. Where am I headed? Have I even been down there yet? Oh, yes, I have. That was where there were a couple of... Yeah, it looks like I'm going over there. There were a couple of vases down there. Vases, vases, whatever. Can I look down? Not sure if I'm supposed to be down here yet. It didn't take... Oh. It didn't take that good of a look at the map. Yeah, so this is like... a little extra area for the exploration. Oh, damn! Okay, so I didn't know they could do that either. A little... Bastards keep tricking me. Are these things bigger? Aha. Knew there was a reason to come down here. Always got exploring these games. Alright, you little lava shit, so I get your point. Come on, let me through. It'll be nice when I have the red ability. Oh, damn, that was almost bad. Oh, I just realized I only have two hearts left. Oh, that shit ain't good. Can I stand on that? Yes. Uh, I wish there was like a way to look down. Um, in a lot of games, it gives you the ability if you like crouch that you can see below you. Because right now, it sort of feels like I'm jumping down in the dark. Uh, so that's that's a tiny shortcoming, by no means a huge deal, but uh, it would be nice, unless I just wasn't holding down long enough. I'll try that next time. Oh shit. I swear these guys are getting bigger, but they still only take three hits, so maybe it's just my imagination. I uh, don't know how to get over there yet. I will get you. Oh, shit. It's like a little sprouty flower. Find hearts and lose them just as quick. Alright. Blue is safe. Gotta remember that. Oh, ah, shit. There's like a lot to pay attention to here. Oh, shit. All right, don't die, don't die. Heart, I could really use a heart. You too, give me a heart. No, no. Okay, nothing there. Heart break it maybe, no. Okay, so that didn't get me where I thought it was gonna go. Yeah, I just can't look down, that sucks. It'd be really nice to know where I'm jumping into. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go get those secrets again. 
Alright, I just got back from getting those secrets again. I handled it much more masterfully, as you can see from my health. Oh, you know what? I didn't even... Didn't even think about hitting those things. Oh. These are... Oh, shit. There's some fancy little designs they got going here. Okay, I still can't swing down as far as I know. So that will probably be more of an eventual kind of thing. Uh, shit. Little bastard. I mean, it seems like I can kind of get them underneath me when I uppercut. Health. Always appreciated. Especially with my poor platforming skills. Alright, you little shit. Come at me. Come at me. Uh, okay, so that's the first one of those little explodey guys that I've ever dodged. So, uh, this is a pitiful pivotal moment in my uh, Outland career here. Uh, let me check the length of the video here. Okay, about 16 minutes. Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay, so I need red to get through there. Dark spirit. Cool. Still gonna check this out a little bit. Teleportation skill. Oh. So I'm wondering if eventually those guys are gonna like fall from the ceiling in a place where I can't see them. If that would be like the cheap kind of trick that they'd pull in this game, I don't know. Oh, damn. Okay. I'm gonna pretend that uh, I knew that platform was there. Oh, back to this slow moving again. All right, I'll come back for you, buddy. Or you'll come back to me. Ooh, pop you up. Alright, where am I going? Where am I going? Okay, not over there yet. Um, oh, I have to be quick as a bunny on that one. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, is this all just a, just a little secret? Just to give me coins? Okay. Shit. I suppose I do need to check the map sometimes. Alright. Where am I going? I don't even see where that's pointing to me. Maybe I should save it. That would be smart. Oh, I was already over there. Um, oh shit, I backtracked. Okay, uh, I'll pause it again. Alright, I'm back where I backtracked, or forward tracked before. Teleportation skill. Alright, so I might be able to get through there. No, no. Alright, so it looks like I'm doing some fancy dodging. Come here, bud. Come at me. Really gotta work on my upper cut abilities. Oh, oh shit. So they give you, like, some serious coin if you kill them. Oh, buddy. I got gotcha. you. Ooh. This is going to be a rough one. Oh, shit. Yeah, I uh, pretty much had a feeling I was going to lose a heart there. And back down we go. Well, first I'm going to look around see what else there is. Got a guardian key. Okay. Good to know. Oh, oh shit. <sighs> Damn. Crystal of life. After a while, striking down enemies can be like as well. Yeah, I know. Oh, sweet! It's like a free recharge. I thought I was gonna have to pay coins for that, for the pleasure. Oh, 
You know what, screw that. If I'm this close, I am not going through without a heart. Um, you know, if I was smart, I would have gone over it the first time. <laughs> so that's embarrassing. Uh, oh, am I still going down? Yeah, transition. Okay, video is about 20 minutes right now, so this seems like a good place to stop. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And uh, go ahead and leave a comment if you feel like it.